And here it is, the finals of the America Pacific Balance Invitational. Spawning in the north or on the left, we have GAT playing as US forces. And we have Von Ivan playing as the Austere. Locked in Mechanized Assault once again. Does have his uh, Assault Grenadiers out, unlike uh, Paul, who did not utilize them last game. I was expecting that, but... He's uh, going to use it on Famonville, which is what I would assume, assume to be much stronger than Langerskaya. And he made it work on Langerskaya. So excited to see how aggressive he is this time around. And wow, look at these changes on Famonville that you're mentioning. Oh, yes. Yeah, so many changes. Like there's no heavy cover wall over here. Up here, complete rejig of the points. Fuel point has moved up. House has moved all the way over here. It's just a complete redesign in the north, basically. Then also coming out of here, you've got more exits out of the base on the left. Just so many changes across this map. Yeah, it looks so weird. Like I'm not used to, not just the map, but I have this ultra wide monitor now and KOTU is just totally like off to me right now. Like the proportions don't look right. I'm so used to smaller screen, smaller resolutions. But yeah, the heavy cover thing is huge to me right here on the south cutoff. Because you know that one of the first things a lot of people do is they just wire that off to protect the uh, cutoff. It's such a hot point of contention. And then this VP point is like, wow, I'm, per I'm digging this. There's not this huge, you know, cluster of shrubs like where you can't really engage the fuel house in like. It actually even looks more appealing too, like visually. Yeah, I think so as well. So Von Ivan surging forwards with his assault grenadiers. Getting the retreats here. Also capping the fuel in the north, so he's off to a pretty good start in terms of map control. A lot of close engagements you gotta take when you play as assault grenadiers and um... He does get a couple retreats off, but now these riflemen are able to double team and push off that weak squad. Looks like he's going to do the same to this even weaker assault grenadier who's trying to get to neutralize. Instantly retreats there at the side of the full health riflemen. And let's see what Vaughn is going to do here. Probably just going to go for Panzer Grenadiers like he did last time. Does have battle phase one completed. And GAT does have lieutenant nearly completed as well. I'll take a look around this map a bit more on the north side. Let's see. Doesn't look like that many changes on the north side, except that house that's near the cutoff. There used to be two. There's only one. Uh, oh, the house near the other cutoff, too. There isn't one on the right side. With the north player. It's a pretty useless house, anyway. It'll be interesting to see how both players transition from here. Looks like GAT is going for Mechanized Platoon, but will it be the M20 or will it be straight into the Stuart? I know that Von Ivan probably wants to get the Mechanized Assault Group, he just needs the command points for it. Repositioning. Uh, yeah, these rear echelon are not really in cover, but still win the engagement against the pioneers. Come the salt green ears though. Not to get the cut off. <laughs> barely, barely prevents it. He's gonna try to get this retreat before he loses the fuel. Yeah. Good hold by Vaughn, but he's gonna have to get out of here himself. Nearly out. That's a lot of models. Things are looking there. really good for GAT. Oh, Pegrin's doing some big damage in the south, forcing retreats, but here comes the M20. Is this about to turn things around, like, desert its dominance on the field? That that bundle nade is so effective when Pegrin's are fighting versus one squad, because the time you take to dodge the nade outright means that much damage you're taking from the Pegrin's while you're not actually shooting back. There we go, M20 is going to clean up these Pegrin's nicely. Ron is not retreating. Okay, there we go. 
Ivan needs a little bit more manpower before he can call in his mechanized assault group. Oh, and our bug splattered. Alright, well back to the action. Do have an MG42 in the middle garrison facing off against this MG42. Never a good fight for the MG when there's no support with grenadiers and just run around the arc repeatedly. Meanwhile on the east side we do have Salt Grenadiers facing them against two riflemen, does force one off. Ambulance also on the way for GAT. Save some bleed on his squads there. Super important. And there we go, we have a mechanized assault group from Von Ivan, something I wanted to see in the Langriskaya game. Is there any bazooka as well? Focus on the ambulance. We get some cheeky wipes. Only one rifleman with veteran C1. Here comes the squad wipe half track as it used to be known. Yep, and no bazookas on the lieutenant, so oh, he needs to get out of there. Yeah, definitely, definitely a uh, squad Whoa. wiping machine. Oh, shrinks. shrinks with the shrinks. That's an unexpected development. Could he go for oh, the ambulance one. kill here? Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Like, could you imagine? Just run up to the track, the ambulance and bail. That would be legendary. A few of these rifles are nice very off. close to Vet 1, so AT grenades for Narvin has to be careful of them. Nice play by Vaughn. Scares him into the base. Gets the panic uh, weapon racks for bazookas. And uh, gets the cutoff at the same time. See if he has any tellers, though. I doubt it with the Shrek purchase, but. Oh no, he's building one right now! On the fuel. Gonna go for the bait. For sure. If he goes for Stewart or something. But Stewart would kind of be a bad call here against Shrekt up uh, half track Grens. Two Grens. It's definitely an out DPS of Stewart. And then trying to zone out the M20. He jumps out with the crew. Bazooka connects. 250. Ooh, one Shrek connects with the M20, but he's bleeding quite hard on these Panzer Grenadiers now. They have to retreat, and here comes the Bazookas oh. and the Abandon on the 250. The oh, that's a disaster for Mon Ivan. Spots the Teller there as well with the Sweepers, so... Oh Oof. man, that could have been a clown, a flame uh, clown car. Flamethrower clown car for Vaughn. He chose to do so. Has a lot of utility, but... Yeah, GAT played that well because the half track, um, you know, any squad in a uh, half track like that, you know, whether it's M3, M5, or the uh, 22251, is it can't target abandoned vehicles like that when it's inside the vehicle. So he forced Vaughn to get out and punished him. Yeah, just kind of, that was like quite a cheeky move jumping out of the M20 with the vehicle crew, but. Is that paying off? A capture point is under attack. And I've been going for a second machine gun, just going to try to lock down the territory, just accept that he's going to get bled a decent amount by the M20. Yeah, he's actually got another MG42 as well. Saw Grenadier plus Panzer Grenadier is a pretty heavy bleed if you're not taking engagements. Cindy rounds popping for Vaughn in the middle and he gets the arc right here. He's probably gonna be forced to smoke if he gets the arc off. Ooh. Oh, no. it's light dusting on the rear. rear. Yeah, could have been bad. But he had munitions for smoke. If he paid attention, he could have. Uh, we are losing the out, sector. So no Mortar coming out for GAT. Indirect fire being pretty strong on Favenville for how um, uh, small it is. Can really get across the map when you start getting veterancy, especially yeah. for leagues and pack alleys. Yeah, facing off against double machine gun, I think that's a smart response for GAT. Gonna run right past this MG here. And 20 inflicting some good bleed now. Assault grenades from Vaughn, hoping to do some damage, but GAT on top of the micro dodges nicely. And then forces the retreat. More action in the north. Assault grenade is flanking the lieutenant and dodges the assault grenades. Uh oh, MG42 being chased down here, but it looks like it 
gonna get cut off by these Shreks. The Shreks. If, if they both connect, they should die Tech here, right? Rounds. Oh, nice smoke. Ooh, one connects. Good yeah, smoke, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice exactly reaction times. That's what I was gonna say. He knew that thing was gonna die if both the Shreks connect. And Vaughn jumping out of the house, that mortar inflicting a lot of damage, almost loses the machine gun, jumps out on the wrong side. The oh man. To steal our sector. Let's see, Vaughn is putting up his support armor core. Guys... See a Oswin this time around, but with the Shrek, with, excuse me, with the bazooka um, all over the place. Might be safer to get a Panzer IV with uh, GAT pushing back onto the map and recapping his fuel. JT obviously not having picked a commander yet. It's got a lot of options. Did he pick something that one game versus Paul? I don't think he did, right? Ah, I don't think he, he won even at the end of the game. Just selection. No commander, yeah. With some changes to Rifle Company this patch as well. Fire Up no longer has the slow debuff at the end. Which is good. Yeah, it's a big buff Pretty to it. Awful ability. And now has uh, access to the uh, rifleman field defense as well, so you can plant mines with your rifleman with that commander and sandbags. It obviously didn't get touched. I'm even starting to struggle for territory now. GAT locking him out of the map. Does have his tech down though, and very close to a tank. Yep, Panzer IV is going to be just a couple more manpower, but that'll be at the cost of his squads reinforcing, unfortunately. Being in that spot really sucks because you're trying to get the tank out quickly, but then you can't fight back on the field. By the time your tank hits the field, not all of your squads are going to be ready to fight. And if you're not paying attention, it can really be a downward spiral because you'll reinforce some squads, go on the field, they don't have enough support, so they retreat again, and it's just... Gives your opponent a lot of room to cap the map. And I've with no healing bunker in base as well, so struggling for healing. Yeah, he's actually using the uh, heal kits from the um, pioneers. Cause 15 minis a pop. Yo, Panzer is almost out. Yeah, but that just shows how much he's prioritizing the manpower towards his Panzer IV. Could go for the healing right now, but he really wants that P4 out as soon as possible because GATs is only around 40 fuel away himself. Mm -hmm. It's not going to have too much time to make this Panzer IV do a lot of work. Just got to worry about potential M6 mines, bazookas, of course, snares. Can't overextend too much. Mom doesn't have a minesweeper, something you always want to have. Can't get too greedy. You have to can't punish you. You're going to mobilize. Goes in for the crush on the rifles. Ooh, big hit. Two models down. Now following up, going after the lieutenant. Ooh, another big hit. Three models down. Bazooka's chasing him, though. That's what he needs. Showing his rear armor to bazookas is never a good idea. Trying to get out of there before he takes more unnecessary damage. M20 doing some good damage on the other side of the map. And I've been having trouble pushing out, gaining territory now. I like this pick from GAT. He goes for Rifle Company. Easy 8 being a really good counter to Panzer IV. And doesn't really lock you out of the anti-infantry as a Jackson would, so... Very solid choice from GAT. He's 30 feet away from building one. Dodges that P4 shot. <laughs> really quick reaction times from him so far. He's gone for 250 cals, which... Can be hard for Von Ivan to overcome. Doesn't have any indirect fire himself, just relying on outmaneuvering them, which is hard sometimes when there are two of them. Oh yeah. Finally got that medic bunker coming down for Vaughn. We have 300 points and 20 still making nuisance of it, going to whichever side of the map the Panzer IV is not on. Too smart. Mm, very smart. Right, and finally is healing in base, so he might be doing some early retreats on a couple of these super low squads. Try to conserve a little bit of manpower. 
Speaking of, yeah, these pea greens. Yeah, the retreat path of these two squads, so... Oh, and they're doing not, a bit of body blocking. Yeah, it's not clearly safe here with that retreat. Here comes the oh, Panzer four. Can it save the day? If he loses the squad, that's such a big deal. Oh, they do get away, but here come two bazookas going P4 hunting. He's got them on the major. Oh, connecting nicely. And that bar blob continuing to push for GAT, forcing Von Ivan away from the south. He's looking really strong here, and easy A in the build. Von Ivan's in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, this is not going well. Panzer IV didn't have as much of an impact as he needed. Got a couple good hits in, but no wipes and um, just a bit of territory exchanging hands. But it's quickly going back under GAT's control. M20 here cleaning up the uh, lingering squads. Might even get a wipe on this assault gun, dude. Mm, maybe. He's blocking. Oh, looks like he's not committing to it. I think he saw the uh, machine gun sitting up in the back with the extended sight. And maybe he's worried about going down to some uh, incendiary rounds. Doesn't want to chase any further. The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. Send you around, speaking of. Forcing away the rifleman. Mortar's there to try and bombard and it gets a really good hit. Half health off the MG. And Von Ivan following this up with a flak panzer, but may he consider changing once he sees this easy eight on the field. Easy eight just going into the base, maybe looking for a wounded panzer four, but it's back up to full now. Yeah, hopefully for his sake he sees it in time, and he does. Maybe he'll cancel it here and get a stug or something. Oh, that's exactly what he does. He's seeing a legendary Dengue shoots here from the Asu 2-3. Oh, uh, Bazooka Volley comes in again. Does so much damage to the Panzer 4. Something amazing M20 voided. M20 eating some Panzer, Panzer Shreks there. Should be able to get out. He's probably going to pop a late smoke. Oh, he's getting stuck. Bons Moving I think to intercept, but yeah, not going to get there in time. Easy 8, maybe going for the follow up on the P4 here. P4 connects and penetrates. Easy 8 is going in. Oh, and he penetrates again. See if he can blitz out of here and get the Stugan, Stugan for support. Oh, main gun crit. Oh, P4 no, in big trouble. Here comes the Stug. Can it save the day? He's yet needs one more shot to connect, but it hits the Stug. Oh, body blocks. Now Stug lining up a shot, oh, and he's two shots to kill. Those Shreks oh, retreated. The miss. the miss is huge. Oh. Oh, two misses. One from each. Another miss. Smoke Pops out. Smoke, but the Stug is in full chase mode. Oh, misses again. Oh, my God. And the Stug now in trouble. Could go down to the easy eight. He's committed. He's committed. Bazookas are going to help out. See if he can get around the corner. Oh, oh misses the killing three blow. Misses. Three misses on that Stug. That is heartbreaking. Oh. He didn't do the little stop. Yeah, he maybe he should have gone for a stop. Off. Oh, and here come the bazookas. Yeah. Oh, boy. If he lost the Stug there, that would have been heartbreaking. Yeah, maybe you should have yeah. gone for a stop on one of those last shots. Yeah, that was a, definitely a misplay. Something you always want to make sure you do is to stop and shoot. You really got to get the timing down on the reload for your tank so you can have the highest amount of accuracy. It's really important for units like the Stug and the Puma. So you got you to gotta keep that in mind. One thing Von Ivan could have done is not retreat the Pegreens as well and tried to intercept from the rear. And end up being able to do either, and the easy eight does survive. Oh, and pioneers might go down here in the south. Be right, a huge wipe on the pioneers. Reload. He really needs repairs right now. Mm. Oh no! Is going to go down though. So close. <laughs> oh, oh my life! Oh man. Oh, but that mortar getting them for some big damage. Pigrins have to jump out of the building and instant retreat. Yeah, it looks like Vaughn's gonna have to commit to full tier 3 here. 
Um, so with his resources are not going to allow him to tech up and get a Tiger or even tier 4 vehicles. So much uh, enforcing on his uh, expensive squads and GT's near close enough for another uh, easy 8 but he might even get a Jackson this time around. It's really strong versus Stu with the easy 8 and bazooka support. Another big problem Vaughn has is he has no snares. These vehicles can just keep chasing. There is no no uh, slowdown. Not playing yeah. playing without grenadiers is just really awkward. Yeah, he's kind of relying on this like really strong early game to carry him through into super fast medium tanks and overwhelming his opponent. But JT staying strong here, not getting overwhelmed, and now that boot's starting to catch up with Von Ivan in the late game. Yep, these bazookas are extremely annoying for us here. They don't have the mechanized repair truck to uh, help out with all these little, you know, minor repairs that they need. Pioneers are forced to basically be repair monkeys in the base. <laughs> that helps. That hurts a lot for map control. This M20 still in here, still doing the damage. 20 kills on it now. Real thorn of on either side. Away. Another Danga shoots in production. Vaughn is looking for that critical mass. Yep, it's going to be an interesting one. Like, it comes down to positioning in those scenarios. You know, if the Stugs get flanked, that's GG for Von Ivan, but they put out so much firepower. Ooh, oh, here we go. Here comes a double EZ8. From the north, one Stug in trouble. And both are committing to each other. EZ8 missing a few no, shots. Definitely here. Oh, he's going to lose the other EZ8. It's going to be close. See who misses and who doesn't. Oh, no. He can blitz that. No, he doesn't have enough munitions for blitz. Shreks are heading back to base. EZ8 is missing. Stug is getting shots off. That was a horrible engagement for GAT. The only only um, slight victory there was the MG42 getting, getting killed, yep. which is actually not small. It's huge. Gonna steal it as well. I thought he might just outright destroy it. Where are you having two? But he's gonna go for three machine guns now. Oh, still coming forwards. Oh, nice hit. Uh -oh. oh, wipe. Soul Grenadiers take out a squad on the far flank. On well, Ivan yeah, starting to pull this one back. Oh, the Shrek. I mean, the bazooka is connecting with the Stug. Oh. <laughs> what? He's building another MG squad. What is this? Four MG. He just stole one. It has to be a mistake. Maybe he was building it before he captured this. That's too many, right? I don't know, man. Maybe he's just going for an MG lockdown. Von Ivan doesn't have that many VPs. 143 remaining. Maybe he thinks he can just drain them out on the VPs with the MG spam. I mean, it doesn't make sense in, this, in the... Uh, aspect of the second stug like you don't want to build more tanks into double stug you just want to build infantry but i thought he would want to replace his rifleman or maybe even build a captain for for uh you know var and the thompson on that squad and you can get at guns if needed a bit safer versus stug than you know a tank can't really counter at gun with a stug so we'll have to wait and see how this one plays out look at this Look at these P Grands got around the arc of this 50 cal. JT isn't paying attention to it. Okay, now he's moving. Vaughn was clearly going for a bundle nade there. Still crawling after it, but it's pushing not wearing off. Here comes the easy eight. Oh, the missed retreat. Could even get the wipe here potentially. No, not gonna chase. Oh, but maybe with the bazooka squads. That was still to right there. Cover. Ron is really struggling to get these VPs. He's, you can see he's trying to just push on to them to get the left one for a brief amount of time. But the 25 minute mark, he's nearly at 100. Uh, it's looking really good for Ash for should say Ash post for GAT. One thing that's changed in this patch is if Pioneers get the sweeper, they do get a minor repair bonus. So maybe Von Ivan should 
get the sweepers on his pyre so he can get these tanks back on the battlefield more quickly. Maybe he's going for a blitz here too to get this AP. Just try and force away everything he can. So he can cap up the VPs. He's in big trouble in that department. And now in come the bazookas. These MGs are actually really annoying for mm. Vaughn. He doesn't That's have right. a mortar. He doesn't have an Oslin. Bazookas would keep the Oslin in check. Oh my god, what a volley. Where are the Stugs at? They're in the base, they're moving out now. Going for the VP on the left again, going for the right VP at the same time, and looks like the middle. Four MGs though. Pretty hard to break. Coming forwards, forcing away the lieutenant, allowing the capping. And screen getting onto that northern VP, but 81 remaining. Suppression on that central machine gun, allowing the capture there. So Von Iver fighting back strongly, and GAT going for another easy eight. Not to be deterred, but that is risky against the double strokes, as you mentioned. Yeah, here comes a pro wind. Some construction. He's definitely got to start getting away at this infantry. Easy eight is trying Ooh, to rotate big away. Big bundle grenades and rifles going down. Yeah. Yep. Bazooka's moving through mid, but gets locked out by this really well placed MG42. AOE suppression stops the tactical control group in its in its tracks. Tries to get the little sprint ability off, but it's forced to retreat both those bazooka squads. Von Ivan is doing the best he can to make this uh, VP gain stay stay in place. Here come the Stugs, looking for the easy eight. Von's going for his well, going for his push. But he saw the bazookas hit back to the base. He's going in for oh, so close. He's just going to try to oh. kill the cash here instead. Yeah. And here come the bazookas to zone out the strooks. There we go. Nice push by Vaughn. Really forced Asha Boy's uh, reposition and heal up his squads. You can see he's blobbing up his MGs. They're kind of all targeting the same thing. Oswin is out, but it's in the base. Looks like a rally point. There, so he's moving it now. Definitely want to push that up while he's got this territory under control so that he can, he can uh, hold... Yeah, 74 VPs left. Not much room to maneuver for Von Ivan. If he loses control just for an instant, could end up losing the game. Yeah, it's very fragile with these two or three units. Zuka's in the All it takes is a couple, a couple volley. If Von can can recap some of these MGs, one of them that he lost, and kill some 50 cows, it's gonna look really good for him. He's knocked out two riflemen, so the anti-infantry department's really crippled on GAT side. Um, it's really, bazookas are probably going to heavily rely on this Oswin and, and uh, Panzer IV for the anti-infantry. GA gets forced away by the Shreks there. Looks like GAT working on the southern VP though. Same time Von Ivan capping in the north, so he's not going to drain out. Uh oh. Doesn't have grenades, ticked. Yeah, what's going to get out of there? Saving grace. Because he goes for the bottom. No, it doesn't have ammunition. Oh, he got to use. What a good fight for the P Grand with two Shreks. They're going to lose the double. Yeah, here comes the easy eight. Oh, they clumped on the wall. Oh, boy. Drops a Shrek. Could lose the Shrek squad here. Oh, no. Connects with the fence. Lucky break for Vaughn escaping there, but did drop one Shrek. Well, I don't think there's a squad that can pick it up besides like a vehicle crew. <laughs> he wants yeah. to deny it, but I think everyone else has max weapon slots. So Mavon might actually be able to get that back. He's got the right VP now as well. Flank that MG and force it. Controlling the house here as Ooh. well. Big bleed onto those bazooka squads. They're forced away again. And Von Ivan looking in control now. Was the quad MG the wrong strategy for GAT? Yeah, and replenishing that major unit isn't really. The, he's constantly having to rebuild that guy. He costs like 40, 40 something munitions. Or excuse me, manpower, right? 
Uh, I think it's 190. The major. No, but like the the actual major guy in the squad. Oh, I think they standard. I think they standardized the uh, manpower reinforcement for it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I didn't know that. Here comes the sprint going for the VP. Going for the trick. <laughs> Oh, there's some big hits on the lieutenant. He could get this wipe. Maybe go for a bundle nade on retreat or... Oh my goodness, this Oswin damage. Oh! Oh, he gets it! Oh, here come the easy eights though. Trying to outmaneuver the... Stug? Stug isn't really ready. Oh, but the easy eights missing all of the initial shots. Now the Stugs have rotated around. Still trying to flank out the easy eights. One easy eight super low. Now they're both derping out in front of each uh -oh. other. Stug's lighting them up. Looks like Vaughn's gonna clean this up. Now going for the chase down. Let's easy eight slow. One easy eight <laughs> down. <laughs> That's one of them. Huge uh, pickup for Vaughn. Does not lose anything. In it. And GAT is just bleeding easy eights. This, this vet 3 1 barely gets out of there with nothing left. Major also died in that fight. He's building a Jackson and re replenishing a rifleman, but losing the veterancy and the weapons, just a huge loss. And it's usually what happens to USF when they start losing infantry squads, it just gets out of control. And the Axis player if he has a unit preservation, we can snowball. I feel kind of bad for GAT because usually Easy 8s are like really good on the move, but as they charge forwards there, they keep missing a load of shots. Maybe if you taken out one of those tanks like straight away early in battle if those shots are connected maybe you could have overwhelmed one Ivan right there but doesn't end up going his way yeah I agree he has been getting a bit unlucky on the easy eights usually the P4 is the one that misses a crap time while it's moving <laughs> yeah but that's how RNG is sometimes you win some or you lose some or you lose some <laughs> like, oh, you lost that? Well, here's here's another wipe for you. Hope that. Oh, the Jackson now. It's a good shot on the Flak Panzer, forcing it back. Easy 8 is there, back up to full Vet 3 now on that as well. Pretty scary. I think GAT not going captain, getting AP guns was a huge macro mistake for me. When he was ahead, he, he could have. He had the manpower for it. Having an AT gun during these and huge. May yeah, much easier to use the AT gun than uh, charging forwards with bazooka squads. Oh, a lot of bleed. This rifle might even go down here. Oh, makes it around the corner. Get three P greens locking down the center. Unfortunately for GAT, he still has all the MGs, so... Ooh! Big connection on the easy eight. And, uh, well, Ivan getting aggressive now. Medium tanks pushing forwards. The Stubbs... Oh, big bundle grenade, and that could be the MG dead. Yeah, there we go. Von Ivan could regather that now. Here comes the P4. Von Ivan looking for the kill here. Getting super aggressive. Going after the Jackson. Jackson spinning around at the base entrance. And More there it goes. Oh, wow. GG. Throws in the towel. So Von Ivan takes game one after a rocky start to the match. And here we are, guys, for game two. Between Von Ivan and GAT. Von Ivan this time playing his US forces. Straight away locking an armed company again. As we saw from him in the previous match. And in GAT in the south of Famineville. A little hot swap to OKW. Don't think I've seen him play OKW at the games we've got to watch of him were just first the last game versus Paul and the previous game where he's played USF. Um, so this is the first time I'll be seeing him play Axis. And um, been a couple games since we've actually seen OKW. It's been Austria the last couple couple of sessions, so should be cool. Famineville is definitely a good OKW map. Yeah, we saw Asher using OKW, but he ended up going down to Von Ivan. That's right. 
So interesting to see GAT getting some sandbags down on the cutoff there. Those can be turned against him, but with the new cover position out here next to his base, not going to be the end of the world if somebody does take cover because he has his own heavy cover to fight from. Yeah, you always got to be wary of where you put sandbags. going to help you. <laughs> they can backfire on you so easily. Yeah, it's actually a huge um, minor misplay you see from a lot of players is a sandbag placement. Something you don't really pay that much attention to. You just have like this auto sandbag location in your mind on certain maps. So you gotta be, uh, gotta maybe check out your sandbag game. Could be messing you up. Yeah, so Von Ivan gets the early cutoff, but so engineers get forced away and now JT looking for the kill on these riflemen as well. Looks like he's going to get the capture before retreating though. Really slowing down GAT's resources as much as possible. You can see Von Ivan's already got his fuel connected, his munitions, so he's off to a good start in terms of territory. As you can do when you have these assault engineers hitting the field, they do come in as call-ins, so hit their field a little bit earlier. Yeah, that's the upside to having rare echelons not being a combat squad is um, if you if you find yourself on the side of the map your opponent isn't on, you can just shift cap everything. You're not really using them offensively like you would Stern Pioneers, so definitely helps here for Vaughn. He's got the whole right side. So some small tweaks to OKW's starting manpower now, so those second, third and fourth fault communities do come in a little bit later, kind of slowing OKW's early momentum a little bit. Another cutoff from Vaughn. GAT also getting on top of Von Ivan's fuel, but in come the assault engines with the flamer. Oh, and they're doing some big damage. Slightly late retreat. But GAT, uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Really close. Vaughn was. The squad was um, closer up there. It could have been a wipe. Oh, mine's trying to go down here, but he spots the Volks Grenadiers popping up, so he's got to cancel that and pull back. Try to get the cap with this low squad, but. Gonna be, He's gonna trying be to back him into yeah. the mine. And there we go. Nicely done by GAT. Baiting Von Ivan into the mine. Going to allow him to win that engagement easily. M20 coming in for Von now. GAT does have his truck. And it's going to be a battle group HQ. So we haven't seen too much of that. So I don't think we've seen that at all. Apart from like way after the Shreya has gone down. So early battle group for GAT. Interesting stuff. I like it. No super boring uh, Luke's Puma stuff going on. I mean, it's hard to blame people. It's really strong. But uh, I like I like using the flag half track. The only problem is the steward and, ba and bazookas can actually be really, really annoying. Because you got to set up to start shooting with the flag half track. And even with the attack move uh, trick, it's That's very... Uh, yeah. Attack oh, yeah, that's tricks. right. Yeah, it got patched out a month. Well, probably like a year and a half ago now. Yeah, so I did get a slight it. buff this patch, 5 fuel cheaper on the flak half track, but I still don't think it's quite good enough. Down, under attack. Coming in, doing a wee bit of damage, no skirts on it yet for Vaughn though. Enemy Here we go, forcing away all of these Fox screen ideas. Is that attack move trick really gone? It doesn't set up. Yeah, it doesn't set up on the move. I swear I was still using it. <laughs> you can do attack move and it'll look like it works, but then there'll be a delay after it sets up. Oh, okay. So, so visually it looks like it's still. That would yeah, make sense then. Yeah. Okay. Van Ivan now charging onto the cutoff here. Once again, GAT getting cut off, but I don't know. Oh, in Von Ivan putting down the M20 mine over there as well. Gets interrupted briefly. Cover! Cover! 
transitioning into a 50 cal now. Yep, good stuff. M6 mine looks like it's going down as well. Probably expecting a Panzer II. But, um, let's see. It's also an M5 mine too from the assault engineers. And unfortunately for GAT, he's actually not yet at the fuel. Okay, now he got it. Oh, he's going to sweep both of them here. Nice. And he gets close enough for a Faust as well. And 20 doesn't have spurts still, so that's a huge amount of damage it takes from the Faust, over half its health. Doesn't have that health bonus from the skirt yet. And armor, so. Is being overrun. Takes even... a lot more small arms fire when it doesn't have the skirts. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, so much more. It's kind of shocking, you're like, oh man. Yeah, it's like M3 paper mode. <laughs> yeah. And it looks like Von Ivan going to follow this up with the Stuart. GAT is going to go for the flat half track. Uh, interesting uh, nice to see how this goes though. on. That's 90 munitions sucked up by the sweepers. Here it comes. But Von Ivan not deterred, putting more mines, this time on the other side of the map with the assault engineers. JT's gonna need a raquette to help fight off these light vehicles. And Stuart otherwise can just charge here first at the flak half track. We're going for this build though, Von Ivan still doesn't have healing, so he is uh, bleeding quite a lot of manpower from all of his low health squads. Let's get the cap there though. Nice little munition boost for a little bit. Here comes the flak half track setting up, but here comes the Stuart. I wonder if he'll hear this through the fog in time. Comes, like half track gets away. And just the incidental AT from this lieutenant opening is hard for the flak half track to overcome. The 50 cal penetrates it quite easily, the extra bazooka, and then on top of that, both the light vehicles can be very hard to position the flak half track to overcome this lieutenant build from Von Ivan. Yeah, if you get unlucky, the M20 can actually circle the half track and kill it up front. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, so big hit from the Stuart. Fox Street is in trouble. The calf track covers its retreat nicely. Definitely got to play that thing defensively. Yep, and he has a Raken in support too. Looks like Vaughn's going to come say hello. Oh boy, Eat that could be the end of the Stuart. Hit. One more Raken shot. Oh! Yeah, Raken shot and some penetrating bursts. Oh, and it does go, go his way. Huge pickup for GAT. Oh, Got man. some good penetrating shots on the flag half with the flag half track and double raquette and connection. Beautiful crew. <laughs> man, he really needed that. Things were looking good yeah, that for was him. Huge. But big turnaround, and you can see the extra five range on the raquette coming in clutch, and those uh, super long range escapes. Stuart unable to get away. Does have yeah five bonus range in this mo in this patch. I just wish the I like the change. I just wish the vet, the camo would be like later vendor and see. I uh, honestly hate camo on AT guns. <laughs> so gimmicky. Oh, you can't you can't creep around with it at all. It's got stationary camo only, so it's not quite so bad as it was previously. Yeah, that's fair. It's Look more at this. Like the, this, is this uh, no, even the this they can creep around, but just super super slow. This you can't at all. Oh, you can't even creep at all with it? No. Okay. JT pops okay, smoke. Much better. Yeah. Kid missing the shot on the Stuart. Luckily, otherwise it would have gone down there. I mean, not the Stuart, the uh, great. The M20 aspect of the, the Greyhound. Jeez. Did you see that Rakenshaw blew up the Stuart carcass so he can't get the... Salvage? The uh, five fuel salvage. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to shoot the M20, so that kind of hurts a little bit. But that was a nice trick I saw from uh, GAT earlier. He came forward into the arc of the 50 cal, but then popped smoke, and then was going to use attack ground because the 50 cal can't attack ground in response. Mm -hmm. So that's one Solid. way you can get free damage on the 50 cal. 
It's actually solid. Yeah, yeah really good brain idea. Brain. Big brain, yeah, exactly. Huge brain. <laughs> Galaxy brain. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, Vaughn is. That Stuart loss has forced him off pretty much. He's gone for another Stuart. I mean, that's not going to force him off. Whether this is the right play or not, hard to tell. Certainly going to delay his path to a medium tank by a long way, and GAT already getting his truck down now. So this Stuart has to do some work here, otherwise he's going to be way behind in the medium tank race. Yeah, look at this juicy demo though on the left house. <laughs> yeah. M20 eats a Faust, but forces the squad off nonetheless. Still no skirts though. <laughs> Gotta be really careful. Oh, Ooh, this demo. demo could be huge. Demo. I don't think he's gonna see it. Oh, Spawn down. beautiful, beautiful play. Well played by Vaughn. Demo is still useful in those scenarios, you know, hiding behind shot mm -hmm. blockers or on the outside of buildings. They still get the occasional wipe, they're not completely dead. The enemy is overrunning one of our capture points. Yeah, I love demos now, they're not cheesy, as cheesy as they were before. Yeah, just require a lot. They require actual skill, you know. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Second Raketon coming in for GAT to help fend off this light vehicle assault for Von Ivan. He's got his tech down. Things are looking really good for him now. Oh yeah, and it's 13 minutes and Von still doesn't have his major, so... That second steward purchase is set him back. I thought maybe he's just going to go for the, the captain, honestly. Like, it doesn't cost, you know, 30 fuel. You get the free squad. Get an AT gun. Yeah, AT gun is really the best counter to the flak half track too. You don't want to play Kettens with your Stewart. So I think that's a little misplay from Vaughn, but you know he likes to be aggressive and use light vehicles and kind of overpower that way. Up smoke, Raketon, bit of pathfinding issues. Would he get the attack round off? Doesn't even go for it. And tier 4 reveals itself to Vaughn there, try to cap out that fuel. Let's get the neutralizer to the camp. Second Raketon in a good position, Stuart in a little bit of trouble. Oh my god, dude, the tier 4 range getting... Look at that range on the lieutenant there. No oh, standard range. Wow, that looked way farther than normal to me, but maybe it's my <laughs> ultra-wide resolution. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe exactly. Maybe it's the ultra-wide monitor getting you. <laughs> the curve is like hallucinating me. <laughs> Von Ivan does go for a second 50 count to help maintain his territory control. Has been doing a pretty good job of cutting GAT off, slowing his progress towards the next medium tank because he does need to catch up in terms of fuel. Going for that second Stuart slowed him down a long way. And the flak base helping GAT lock down this fuel point up here. So now Von Ivan's kind of getting locked out of the fuel. Yeah, this is really rough when OKW is able to defend a fuel with their own units and then just lock something down with a tier 4. It's so backbreaking for your vehicle production. And he's going to start pumping out overs too. We got the first squad coming out. I'd love to see that. Overs are Yeah, there's, they're so... Once they get VIT 2, that's just a nightmare for US forces to deal with. Like Even with double oh. bars, you're really going to struggle. Oh yeah, especially there's assault engineers. Then half the squad is dead. <laughs> yeah, by the time you get in range. Yeah. It's really, really difficult. Well, he doesn't even have weapon racks, right? No, he hasn't got them yet. Well, I could go for his mage tick now, if they require a mount. coming forwards but once again Raketon in a really nice position. GAT's been positioning those Raketons very effectively so far. Uh oh, half track, little miss micro there but fortunately for GAT it has smoke. Bazooka connects as well. 
Yeah, what's really unfortunate with that and Stewart is he's just now getting major built and GAT is just two minutes away from building a Panzer IV. Yeah, he's going to have a tough time. As I mentioned, still hasn't got the captain, so no AT gun on the horizon for Von Ivan. Might have to go for the desperation weapon yeah. rack tech into bazookas, but that can bleed you a lot of manpower trying to you know, for medium tech with bazookas alone. Yep. That's what happened to GAT last game. Happened to reinforce the uh, rear echelon on major bazooka combo. It adds up, especially when you're playing so recklessly with them. Both players go for some indirect fire here. Bond just built a mortar and a league is coming out for GAT. Should see the league out outperform the mortar on the on Pimmonville. The range and Oh, and there we go, that long range Rakitin shot, forcing away the steward again. Extra five range on Rakitin's, you can see the difference it has in this match. Oh, his range is really coming in clutch, he's connected with that in 20 as well. Something players are going to have to get used to with this. So. On Ivan charging forwards from multiple angles, GAT having trouble fending him off. Half track hitting V2 now. GAT gaining fuel control in the north finally. Von Ivan's done a really good job of slowing down GAT's fuel progression. From getting down this Shri HQ to the medium tank has taken much longer than I had expected. Yeah, super late. Fortunately, he's harassed the fuels so much that GAT's um, tanks have been delayed for quite a significant amount of time. He's really allowing him to catch up. Might be getting him around the same time if he's going for an M4 Sherman. First shot, second shot connects. And 20 finally has the skirts now though, so not taking quite as much small arms damage. Oh, big damage from flak half track in the middle. We almost wiped the rifle. Yeah. And I've been playing very conservatively with the Stuart. Just worried about those Rakedans. And Von Ivan's actually got a fighting position in the north, locking GAT out of capturing the VP up there. GAT's got the Rakitin up there trying to knock it out. He needs one more shot. And he gets it, but might lose the Rakitin for the troubles. M20 coming in. Could go for the chase down. It's super low down the road. Oh, the red cover. But he makes it Rifleman out. Rifleman goes down to the flag half track. Oh man, I missed that altogether. Yeah, we get we're, we're a little bit delayed. Yeah, that's how it goes with observe parties sometimes. Yeah. Now Panzer IV in production, halfway complete for GAT. Things are looking good for him, but Von Ivan just right there could go for a tank of his own. Kalftrak getting close to Vet 3 now, 17 kills. Decal gets in there for some good damage, but he ends up getting suppressed. Doesn't get another burst off. Hands up here. Ready for action. There's a Panzer 4 out now. Looks like Vaughn is just waiting for a jack. I think, I think that's a safe choice. Bulldozer is just raketin food. Yeah, I think like eventually we'll probably get the bulldozer, but in the meantime, 
Jackson's just a safer choice. He can rely on his infantry and machine guns to hold the line. Under attack! Jackson is in production, about halfway done now for Vaughn. VP's very close between these two players, very even match so far. Might take a look at the KDs even. Looks like GAT slightly ahead in that department, about 10 models in the lead. Very close game on the VPs too, so... And Vaughn really is playing this conservative style that we've seen this whole tournament like he's just playing really different than I'm used to <laughs> yeah just and maybe it's not he's even gonna... like the new year no new year's resolution or anything <laughs> <laughs> he's here to win see him to the mirror and slapping himself in the face like alright I'm gonna keep my squads alive this year <laughs> play, play, play. 50 cal in a bit of trouble in the north. P4 up there, doing some big damage to it. Here comes the Jackson. Bouncing the first shot. 50 cal getting super low, no evac yet. But GAT has to back away. So close to getting the kill, and Ober's also very close to going down. Yeah, that was oh. interesting. Oh, 50 cal goes down. Major, excuse me, not Major Artie, it's the Howitzer Garage. 240 mil coming down. Either. RNG bombs. Not quite as RNG as they used to be. Uh oh. Jackson gets a good shot on the P4 this time, returns fire. P4 mil coming down. Hasn't hit anything quite yet. Jackson's going in for another hit here. Under your armor, too. Knocks out the infantry support gun there. I think it's got one more shell to go. Oh man. Uh oh, what is this Panzer IV doing? Oh boy. Jackson just needs one shot to connect. Oh, he went for that ring around the rosy play, but he might get punished for it, and he does. Oh no. He's oh, and the Rakitans. Oh, they got obliterated by the 240 oh, mil. Oh no. What is he doing? He's going to lose a half track too. He used oh, the smoke, no? Just falling oh, apart. And he throws in the tower. Oh. oh no, what just happened? This game was so even and <laughs> he just lost everything. Yeah, I think what? that I think that might be the fatigue that I was we were talking about earlier. Just doesn't quite uh, have the stamina. I think that's fair. I think that's fair enough. I mean I would I would be like, okay, cool, I made it to the finals, time to Time to hit the hay. <laughs> Congratulations, you won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very well played by everyone, Ivan. Taking out the finals 2-0 and showing us his stuff in the new patch. And uh, so for the troubles, Von Ivan gets $100 and gets on, goes on to face the winner of the European bracket next weekend. And then GAT gets $50. And the winner of the next weekend, oh, we'll go to the cams. Next weekend will be a best of five against the European winner. So we don't know exactly what time it will be. Obviously, there are differences in time regions. We have to get that scheduled. Because especially if it was going to be a Korean player in the finals, you know, that would have taken some oh, scheduling yeah. to play against European. But with Von Ivan, I'm sure we'll iron something out.